Welcome to Electra Online. Well, we thought that it might be a good idea to show you how to find the derivative of this function using the same principle that we did on the previous video. So here we have the d dx, the derivative, with respect to x of 2 raised to the x squared power. And the way to do that is to again use that same trick. We're going to rewrite 2 as follows. So we take the derivative with respect to x of the quantity e raised to the natural log of 2 to the x squared power, like this. So notice, 2 is exactly the same as e raised to the natural log of 2, because of course the exponential and the natural log cancels out, you get 2 again. But once we've written it like this, you can now write this as the derivative with respect to x, the ddx, of, and here we can say we have an exponent raised to exponent, so we multiply the 2, so this becomes e to the x squared times the natural log of 2, like this. And now, we know how to take the derivative of that. So that would be equal to e to the x squared times the natural log of 2 multiplied times the derivative of the exponent. And so that gives us 2 times x to the first power, so that would be 2 times x to the first power times the natural log of 2. And then, to simplify things and get it back to kind of the original form, we're going to rewrite this function. So this is equal to e raised to the natural log of 2 to the x squared power. So now we go backwards times, here we have 2x times the natural log of 2. And of course, e to the natural log of 2, that simply becomes 2 again. So this becomes 2 times x squared multiplied times 2x times the natural log of 2. And that would be the derivative of 2 to the x squared. So that is how it's done. Again, we use that very same little trick. Instead of writing 2, we write e to the natural log of 2. Then we multiply the two exponents. And from then, it becomes a pretty simple problem. And that is how it's done.